Cześć i czołgiem, witam was wszystkich bardzo serdecznie, tutaj Szelma. Witam was w kolejnym odcinku, zagrajmy w Dungeon Siege 3. Ostatnim razem, jak pewnie pamiętacie, wyszliśmy w końcu z krypt, gdzie to rozpracowywaliśmy małą grupkę, to się nie tyle ma, co nawet całkiem sporą grupkę <śmiech> złodziejaszków, automatonów. Eee, nieco się też dowiedzieliśmy o starym elegancie. No i teraz wracamy oddać misję do Meister Hall. Free the Krug! Free the Krug! Free the Krug! O co chodzi? Da. Tak, do ciebie mogę na oddać. A nie to. Back at last. Several of the thieves have surrendered and offered statements of confession. I've been reading them. Interesting indeed. The automatons cost the city a fortune to build. No doubt their components sold for a hefty sum. If the gent is actually selling them, that is. Hmm, zapytajmy o cel eleganta. You don't think he means to sell the automaton parts? Well, if he was raising money to fund his illegal operations, there are less convoluted ways of doing so. I hypothesize that he's trying to get a closer look at our automatons. To what end? I cannot say. So I trust we can count on your vote. I am a goblin of my word. Of course, you will have my vote. And one thing more. Legally speaking, you were deputized by a Meister to administer discretionary justice. In other words, I owe you fair recompense. And with this, our contract regarding the matter of the missing automatons is complete. Do remember that this payment is taxable income. <laughs> no dobra. Of course, the Legion isn't above the law. Good. I'll have my assistant deliver all the necessary paperwork <coughs> to the chapter house. Taxes are due second day of Spring Harrow. At some point, I'll send over an assessor to determine how much of the causeway is considered taxable acreage. Now, uh. if you'll give me a moment, I'll find the sub-schedule for arcane expenses. Hold on. Let me see where I put that. Co ja się zrobił? Karamba. No dobra. Do kogo tutaj teraz? O... Może do ciebie. Greetings, Legionnaire. If you've come to win my vote, don't bother. My mind is made up. Stonebridge will have no entangling alliances. Oh. So that's that. Now, if you need some little task to occupy your time, or if you have a question, perhaps I can be of service. Mm, no dobra, zacznijmy od pytań. Can you tell me a little about Stonebridge? Of course! I always have time to talk about our fair city. What do you need to know? Hmm, no to zapytajmy o technologię. This city has gears on the buildings and automated golems walking the streets as constables. What sort of technology is this? Well, progress makes them like <coughs> bedfellows. The collegium where I teach is devoted to the study of matter and motion. The many guilds of the city adapted our research to make tools that benefit their trade. One worker now has the output of three. I worry what this will mean. Not enough jobs, too much power for machine owners. But I digress. These issues don't concern the Legion. Tak, to nie problem Legionu. No to dobra, to kim jesteś tak w ogóle, panie Goblin? Can you tell me a little about yourself? <coughs> I am Professor Fiddlewick, Master of the College. That gives me a permanent seat on the Council, so they can't get rid of me, no matter how hard they try. I've been with the college for years. Got here just before the fall of the Legion. Hmm. Not so fine. 
Za teraz zapytajmy o ten upadek Legionu. You were here in the city when the legionnaires were killed? I was only a junior scholar at the time, and I watched the madness of the city from my ivory tower in the Collegium. The city was deluded into thinking the Legion was the enemy, and in one day of collective madness, a crowd descended on the chapter house. I think everyone here feels shame for what happened, either because they have blood on their hands, or, as in my case, because they didn't intervene. Mm. No to powiedz mi jeszcze o liczebności goblinów w mieście. You and the humans seem to coexist quite peacefully. Are there many goblins in Stonebridge? Ah, yes. This city is quite the achievement of cosmopolitan sensibilities. For more than a century, the goblin presence has grown. The laws of Stonebridge value all sentient life, which is a good thing. Human cuisine plus goblinoid cooking technology equals paradise. <laughs> o, przeżonek do serca. No dobra, póki co to wszystko. That is all I need to know. I should be going. Take care now. Hmm. No dobra. Welcome <coughs> back, Legionnaire. What can I do for you today? No dobra, zapytajmy o tą pomoc. Is there anything else I can do to help the city? Long ago, the Legion served as the mediator of first and last resort. When an argument ran out of control, the Legion offered counsel. Mm. Is the court system of Stonebridge inadequate? For now, you will arbitrate civil matters that are beyond the purview of the courts. Mudgutter and his barristers will handle the criminals. Your first task is to handle a situation with a prisoner of ours, a Krug. He has no crimes charged against him, but his fate is disputed. Many argue he's safer in prison. Others want him free. He's here in the Meisterhall's jail. Make your inquiries there, then tell the automaton who presides over the jail what you've decided. <laughs> it's hardly dragon slaying, but if you're true to the Legion, you'll have time for small matters. Go on now, I've got work to do. No dobra, to idziemy porozmawiać z tym progiem. O! Ktoś ma tutaj jakieś uzbrojenia. Zobaczmy co mają tu. Sejsza mielu. Tesseract. Hmm, za tymi zamkniętymi drzwiami znajduje się niesława, cela, niesławna cela truposza. Tu umieszcza się jedynie najgroźniejszych przestępców i tylko po skazaniu ich na śmierć. <śmiech> Ostatnim mieszkańcem celi był Goblin Nibelach, tak zwany Koci Rozdzieracz. Ciekawa nazwa. Który własnoręcznie próbował rozwiązać problem jakże ukochanych przez wszystkich zdziczałych kotów, które niegdyś przepełniały ulicę Stonebridge. <śmiech> no dobra. Welcome to the Stonebridge Jail. Do you have business with the incarcerated? No dobra, pytajmy o łańcuch dowodzenia. Isn't running a jail a bit complicated for an automaton? I apologize, but I was not designed to answer questions of a remedial nature. I repeat, do you have business with the incarcerated? Tak. I'd like to speak to the Krug prisoner. Fiddlewick asked me to appraise the situation and determine the Krug's fate. Very well. It is Meister Fiddlewick's prerogative to entrust such decisions to strangers rather than automated constables with decades of experience. <laughs> Please note that the Krug <coughs> has been in prison for its own safety. It is highly unpopular with citizens, especially those who own pitchforks. Hideous and homely. Hmm. <clears throat> no dobra. If you're not a Krug, why are you locked up? I'm tired of being harassed and assaulted. This time I decided I'd let them think I'm a monster and keep me locked up. Curse! <laughs> I've thought about getting out of here, but I have nowhere to go. 
I'm content to just stay here and daydream. I have to decide whether you stay or go free. <laughs> well, I suppose I've committed no crime, unless being hideous is illegal. But if it's all the same to you, I'm safe here. Let them go on thinking I'm a Krug, it won't hurt my feelings. If you let me go, have someone escort me out of the city, at least. Hmm. <clears throat> Welcome to the Stonebridge Jail. Do you have business with the incarcerated? Oh, no, bro. I'd like to speak to the Krug prisoner. Fiddlewick asked me to address nah, the situation to and determine the Krug's fate. Very well. It is Meister Fiddlewick. Hmm, dobra. Odesłać, uwolnić, zatrzymać w więzieniu. Chyba odesłać. Let the Krug go. He's done nothing illegal. The locals may try to hurt him, so he should be given an escort out of the city. Very well. The Krug will be escorted to the city limits and set free. No automated constable could have formulated that solution. Thank you. Grrr. I wasn't certain that the Legion had truly returned, but after witnessing your resolution of the plight of the oppressed Krug proletariat, it caused a great imbalance in my sanguine humors. Fairly had me bursting with them. <laughs> now then, we have much to accomplish. Shall we get started? Uh, what's Haji? Nora. What in the world are you talking about? <clears throat> oh my, do forgive me. I mistook you for a collegium woman. I meant only that it made me proud whilst at the same time risking distempers of the blood. Now then, much to do, much to do. Shall we be off? Dobra. So, uh, rozumiesz przez my. Well, what do you mean by we have much to do? Who exactly are you? Yes, we. First person plural, in this case collective. I could lend you this excellent book on grammar. But wait, I'm forgetting my manners. I am Reinhard Manx, scholar, inventor, and sartorial adventurer. I have degrees in advanced thaumaturgical studies and non-Goblinian geometry. Naturally, I also have a grounding in the classics, but more importantly to you, I am descended from the Grand Mage Merrick, a legionnaire through and through. Well, needless to say, it's been my dream to reunite with other children of the 10th Legion. Second only to the dream of a thaumaturgical waistcoat that can change its color and cut to match the latest season's fashions. Aha, dobra, no to <śmiech> zacznijmy od zgromadzenia. If you have Legion blood, why didn't you join us at the gathering? Oh, you mean the invitation calculated to lure all the Legion descendants into one place? You must be joking. That was obviously a trap. One would have to be suicidal or at least a great buffoon to walk into that sort of setup. Oh. Oh my, do forgive me. I should have realized. I meant no offense, but in any case, no, I regretfully declined when that letter arrived. <coughs> How have you lived in Stonebridge all this time? I thought this town had a bad history with the Legion. Had I trumpeted my lineage, we would have seen democracy in action. The ballot would have been whether I would be lynched or dissected, but still... I used to dream that the Legion would rise up from the ashes. But I also dream of square circles, so make of that what you will. <laughs> the people of Stonebridge may have committed a terrible crime against the Legion, but I think it's time to forgive and rebuild. Mm. Forgiveness is an old virtue of the Legion. I'd say your heart is in the right place. In all my studies of time, I found that you can coil it, twist it, bend it, but it always unwinds the same way. Mm. Hatred can't undo the past, so why hold a grudge? Why bother defending Ebb if you can't accept that its people will make mistakes? And of course, forgiveness facilitates the open exchange of ideas. It's hard to have a symposium with a lynch mob. <laughs> no, God. You said you were a scholar, but have you seen any combat? I'm hardly the mage that my great-grandfather was, but I was best in my class when it came to channeling and energy manipulation. I may possess a physique best described as suity, but by application of higher non-Goblinian mathematics, I could rip a man in half with a thought. Well, uh, theoretically I could. It's not as though I practice on people. That would be rather rude and mildly illegal, but mostly rude. Aha. No dobra, to chodź do nas. We need everyone in the Legion to join forces. Are you with us? Am I with you? 
Does the thaumaturgical constant Q trend towards infinity for given values of the human soul? The answer is yes, by the way. The Legion needs to stand together, lest we fade into memory. So without further ado, let's be off. No. I zdobyliśmy kolejnego przyjaciela. Jak nie mam. A nim się zajmiemy nieco później. Póki co idziemy oddać quest tam. I should thank you for resolving the matter of the Krug. Such a small issue, but it required an outside voice. No. To czy jeszcze jakieś zadanie masz dla mnie? Do you have another problem for me to mediate? Yes, I do. Baron 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 is a wealthy landowner with a claim to many parcels of land here in town. He wants to charge rent to Hans. Hans has an equally compelling claim to the plot of land. Mudgutter informs me it's a case of eminent domain versus original acquisition. With the court deadlocked, both have agreed to let you settle their dispute. I'll have them meet you at the chapter house. No, dobra. To będzie później. Tymczasem zajmijmy się tym panem. Ah, so the Legion has come looking for my vote. These are perilous times. An entangling alliance is hardly prudent. But I forget my manners. I am Rorik Castle, city meister and factor of the Ironmongers. What does your guild do? We smelt ore, forge steel, and craft tools for the city's artisans. Most importantly, we oversee the operation of the city's foundry. The foundry is the wellspring of our city's prosperity. We keep the economy in motion, and we are the drumbeat of progress. Nadęty bufon, no ale coś poradzić. No to... Niech będzie, że robi wrażenie. Your guild is obviously important. We need friends like you, and we're willing to prove our goodwill. If you wish to be of service, there is a certain problem that requires attention. The foundry is presently overrun. It's the blasted cyclopses. They were docile workers for years, but something in them snapped, and they brought the foundry to a standstill. Dobra, ale jak to przeskoczyło? Why would they do this? Do you have any idea? None at all. But I'm not involved in the day-to-day -day supervision of their work. Speak to my foreman, Mr. Snell, at the foundry. He will explain our predicament in greater detail. No dobra. Wychodzi na to, że idziemy do odlewni. No, po drodze tylko zapiszę. Stąd gry. A tutaj gdzie zapiszę. No i wzrody. Dla mnie jest mniej więcej w tym samym miejscu co krypty. Więc problemu z jej znalezieniem nie, nie powinno być problemu. Aczkolwiek chyba nawet na nią natrafiłem. Eksplorując miasto. Panie powiewają... E... No to dobra. Tutaj mamy spory pierwszy kurs. Majstra. Typu przełożony. Sorry, my friends. The foundry is closed for an undefined amount of time. We do regret any inconvenience this may cause. The Tenth Legion is at your service. Just tell us what's going on. What a blessing! The city's automatons can't handle the heat of the foundry, and we ironmongers are craftsmen, not constables. The cyclopses have gone mad. They've killed a few of our foremen, and the gears of the foundry have stopped. We spotted goblin agitators inside as well. And if that wasn't enough, the fire elementals that power our furnaces have gotten loose. Okay, so let's start with the 
I need to ask you a few questions before I go inside. Of course, anything. Just ask. Not to nie będą cyklopi. How exactly did these cyclopses get into the foundry in the first place? Oh, they've been. We're ready to help. What would you have us do? Our attempts to parley have ended in bloodshed. You'll need to pacify them by force. I don't want the Cyclopses eliminated. I just want them to go back to work. So find their leader and humble him. The sooner the foundry is back in operation, the better. If you can restart any of the gear works below, that would also be a great help. Well, good. But of course, first of all, explode. Pardon me, I'm still a bit jumpy. What with the Cyclops revolt? Chociaż jednak coś znajdę. No, coś my tu mamy jeszcze. Dobra, na początek zapiszmy grę. Eee, tak, to. To. Eee, przypomnienie dla wszystkich pracowników od lewej. Nie próbujcie dokarmiać ognistych szakali lub też bawić się z nimi. Te stworzenia to groźne żywiołaki, z którymi kontakt może mieć tylko wytrenowany personel. W przypadku zranienia lub śmierci w wyniku nieautoryzowanego kontaktu z ognistymi szarkalami, Gildia nie ponosi żadnej odpowiedzialności finansowej. <śmiech> Zostaliście ostrzeżeni. No. Wszystko zgodnie z literą prawa. Kawka w dłoń. Idziemy. Co my tu mamy ze śpistek? Hmm. To wygląda na listę żądań strajkujących cyklopów. Została napisana eleganckim charakterem pisma. Zapewne zbyt eleganckim jak na cyklop. Żądamy przynajmniej jednego dnia wolnego w tygodniu. Zmian nie dłuższych niż 18 godzin. Dostarczenia monokli tym cyklopom, którym zawodzi wzrok. Co najważniejsze, żądamy godziwej zapłaty za naszą pracę. Nie ma płacy, nie ma pracy. Minus do wytrzymałości to dosyć spory, a za to plus do, broi, do zbroi, plus do bloku i plus do pędu. Biara. E, Leginsy gniewu. E, nie, dziękuję. Garłacz gniewu. Bardzo dziękuję. Nie. No dobra. Chimera. 
dla naszego nowego kolegi. Dobra, zapiszmy grę. I tutaj skończę moją dzisiejszą przygodę. Mam nadzieję, że Wam się podobała. Jeżeli tak, dajcie lajka. Nie zapomnijcie proszę także o, o komentarzu. Życzę Wam miłego dnia. I na razie.